welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math ACT playlist. Here I'm going to be solving a problem from the 2009 ACT prep booklet. Remember that you can pause the video at any time to solve the problem before I do. So for this problem, we're given a chart that represents 200 votes for each of four candidates. So candidate A received 50 votes, candidate B received 80, C received 40, and D received 30. And our question reads, if this info was converted to a pie chart, what would be the central angle for the sector belonging to candidate C? So the first thing we need to do is determine how much of the, what percentage of the vote candidate C got. We know that he received 40 votes out of 200 total. And if we divide both the top and bottom of the fraction by two, we see that he got 20 votes out of every 100, which translates to 20% of the vote. And the next thing we're going to do is sketch a pie chart. So we know that if candidate C had received 50% of the vote, the central angle would be 180 degrees. And if he received 25% of the vote, it would be a quarter of the pie chart at 90 degrees. So in order to calculate how, how big the percentage is for 20% of the vote, we need to divide this quarter of the circle into five sectors. And each of these sectors represents 5% of the vote, uh, which, it, which adds up to 25% of the circle at 90 degrees. So 20% of the vote, if each of these sectors represents 5%, would lie here. So candidate C's votes represent this much of the pie chart. So to calculate what angle this is at, we need to divide 90 degrees by five sectors. which will come out to 18 degrees for each of these five sectors making up 90 degrees. And if we multiply that 18 by four, which is how many sectors make up candidate C's votes, we will get 72 degrees, which makes up the central angle for candidate C's pie chart. So we see our answer is B. Thank you for watching. Click here to watch our ACT playlist for more example problems. Click here to subscribe to our channel and here to visit centerofmath.org for more math resources.